All right, so with the release of Cutting Edge, we've got a bunch of new weapons and armor that has been added to the game. Uh, for the weapons, we're gonna be doing individual videos, just short form videos for all of these weapons, talking about the pros and the cons and what's good and what's not good. But this video is just for the most part going to be a big bundle uh, review in regards to the body armor because we've got an interesting trait that we did not have before that has simply been added to the body armor of the game. Uh, if we look at the body armor here, it says Electro Conduit provides 95% resistance to arc damage. So of course your boy uh, <laughs> in the middle of a mission decided to drop a Tesla tower and stand underneath the Tesla tower to see what the damage numbers look like. And it would seem that it would take five strikes from the Tesla tower in order to kill the player. Now. There's an annoying feature inside the game that uh, basically headshot scale completely different in regards to damage than anything else. It is unknown whether or not the Tesla Tower can get a headshot, but so far from experimenting, it does not seem that that is the case. Now, of course, because we were able to take a strike from the Tesla Tower, what does this mean for somebody that is using our favorite electric gun? which is, I'm sorry, it's not that one. It is actually a stratagem whose name I have completely forgotten. It is, which one is it? Not the Patriot suit, the Arc Thrower, Jesus. Uh, it's the exact same thing. It will take five shots of somebody continuously hitting you with the Arc Thrower in order for them to kill you. So far, that perk is on, I believe, three, two of the pieces? It is on this piece right here, which is medium armor. It is on this piece right here, which is also medium armor. I think it's it's a missed opportunity to not have uh, one of these armor sets be light armor. But hey, who am I? Uh, oh no, I take that back. So correction, not light armor, but heavy armor. It's a missed opportunity to not have one of these armor sets be heavy armor. Uh, it seems as though we've gotten two mediums with the exact same perk and then we've picked up a light armor with the same perk as well. If the armor value for this armor, since it's 50, I would assume that I did not test this armor because I have not unlocked this armor, but I would assume that it would take uh, three strikes, maybe two strikes, two or three strikes before you get killed from a Tesla tower or somebody using the arc thrower. Now, on another note, we also have new armor sets inside the store. Uh, so I would believe that we'll be getting more and more new armor sets going forward. We finally have a heavy uh, armor set for medkit with the stims, giving you two additional stims, 150 armor rating, 450 speed, 50 uh, stamina. I really hate the color scheme for the med sets. I, I hate the green. I hate the shade of red. I hate the super pale, well, not really super pale, the super milky, chalky white, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'll never run that because the true end game of this game is fashion. And we've got the CE67 Titan, which is a light armor, yes. However, its values are different. It has a higher armor rating a uh, lower speed value than the light armor, and it also has a uh, higher regen, which should help for those people that play a little bit fast, loose, and reckless in regards to running around and throwing grenades down bug holes. Uh, we'll basically be sitting around waiting to see what new stuff we're gonna be getting from the Superstore, but so far, I would say that the cutting edge armor is super interesting for that perk alone. If you're someone who runs in a party with individuals who run arc throwers or use tesla towers this is really good the tesla tower is really really great for the uh the new activity the new activity being the tower defense that we're currently doing to activate the system to basically protect it is called the uh, terminate control system the tcs the tesla towers are really good for the tcs game mode but yeah, that's just basically like a quick rundown of the new armor sets that are currently in the game. Uh, if you're interested in picking them up, like I said, they're a part of the Cutting Edge War Bond. The Cutting Edge War Bond is a lot cheaper in regards to metals than it would seem the Steel Veterans War Bond. 
uh, even though it is premium, I remember Steel Veterans being way more expensive for the first few items, whereas uh, Cutting Edge seems way cheaper in regards to the first few items. Like, you know, we've got a 7 here and a 15. If I remember correctly from the uh, Steel Veterans War Bond, we went from like 20s to 40s to like 60s and 150s in regards to like the last few things we we're supposed to get. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, comment down below, let me know, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.